Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Here's your weather video for this Sunday morning, January the 19th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray, and it has been a month of above normal temperatures in central Alabama. Here's the uh, temperature trace for uh, Birmingham comparing uh, the daily uh, average and normal temperature against the normal temperatures uh, for this time of the year. And you can see literally every single day uh, for the past 28, 29 days, we've been above normal since uh, around December the 18th or so. Uh, that's changing. Uh, and um, if you've been outside this morning, you can already tell that. We'll get to that in just a minute. Rainfall been above normal last 30 days across uh, much of the northern half of Alabama. Some places uh, four to as much as over eight inches of rain above normal, especially across the northwestern parts of the state. That has erased the drought, and uh, literally no one needs rain. Uh, we will get more, uh, as you'll see in just a moment, over the next uh, couple of weeks, uh, most of it coming in one event. This is uh, accumulated precipitation at Birmingham, another 0.51 inches uh, yesterday, bringing uh, the surplus uh, or the total over the past 30 days to over nine and a half inches, uh, nearly five inches uh, in the uh, uh, in the black uh, in uh, precipitation across uh, at least at Birmingham, much of central Alabama, uh, in the same boat, parts of uh, the area to the northwest, uh, even a bigger surplus. More rain expected, uh, cutting to the chase. The next uh, 16 days off the GFS shows um, maybe another 3 to 4 inches of rain. Most of that coming in the event, which will be this coming Friday. This is the upper air pattern across the United States this morning, showing uh, a, split, a split flow, but a big uh, trough over the eastern United States, and that's going to amplify over the next uh, 48 hours or so. Even deeper trough in place by Monday noon. And uh, we'll see some changes, though, by Wednesday. A little bit of ridging over Alabama, giving us slightly warmer conditions after the uh, cooler conditions, colder conditions that we're going to experience uh, over the next 72 hours. But you can see already another trough pulling into the Rockies, and that will be our next weather maker. These are high temperatures off the National Weather Service NDFD database. Good representation of what's going to be happening over the next few days. Middle 40s today. Um, with some clearing. We're falling into the 30s right now across central Alabama. Temperatures will rebound slightly. Clearing skies by noon uh, across most of the area. But tonight, temperatures going to drop like a rock. 24 the low by tomorrow morning. Uh, we'll struggle to get out of the 30s tomorrow in areas north of I-20, right there around 40 in the I-20 corridor. Uh, not much better for Tuesday. And uh, Monday night, the coldest night of the week, even though uh, uh, really uh, Sunday night, Monday night, and Tuesday night are all going to be cold. Uh, and we'll you know, barely get back to a, a little bit above normal uh, by the end of the week. Now, let's go uh, using the GFS. Let's go day by day. This is Monday noon. High pressure is large and in charge uh, with a couple of centers there. One over eastern North Dakota, another over southeastern Arkansas. And uh, big ridge of high pressure covering uh, the Midwest, Great Lakes, southeastern United States, all these areas. Uh, we'll be experiencing uh, mostly clear conditions. A little disturbance there moving through Iowa and Missouri. They'll bring a little light snow to those areas. Nothing like that for us, though. The uh, high shifts its axis to the east on Wednesday. You see those uh, centers there near Washington, D.C., and uh, also over southern Alabama. Return flow on the backside of the high brings uh, uh, precipitation uh, all along the uh, area from uh, eastern Texas and Oklahoma up into Wisconsin, to the north, um, really from about Arkansas northward, it's going to be a little bit of freezing rain in a mix. Snow over parts of Wisconsin, uh, western Illinois, um, as that system gets its act together. It's going to take it a while to get in here. This is stubborn high pressure that we're dealing with. Surface low develops uh, over eastern Kansas by Thursday evening. Large area of rain uh, extending from the Show Me State all the way down through Arkansas, Louisiana, eastern Texas. That will begin to work in here. This timing is uh, around um, 3 a.m., early Friday morning, and you can see the rain is just really beginning to work into Alabama by that time. Friday looks like a wet day. Friday during the day, Friday evening, uh, one and a half to two inches of rain, uh, some isolated three-inch amounts across Alabama. Wouldn't be surprised. Don't expect uh, much in the way of thunder with this, certainly nothing in the way of severe weather. 
just a cold soaking rain for the beginning of your weekend. Now, the good news is that activity should mostly be out of here by Saturday. We'll see um, temperatures in the 50s on Saturday here uh, across north and central Alabama. The rain will be moving out. We'll take one slide into voodoo land. Look at Thursday the 30th. That's our next weather maker. As you can see, uh, that, that would lead to an extended period of dry weather. We could use it. Uh, we've appreciated the rain, and we wouldn't trade it, but um, it would be nice to have a little chance to dry out. Uh, but, again, rain and thunderstorms moving in uh, from the west there. It looks like Friday the 31st to end our month of January. Can you believe we're already saying that? Well, that's your weather video for this Sunday, 19th of January. Uh, James will be here with two days all week. We'll of course, notes on the blog. Scott will be here next Saturday. Join us for Weather Brains tomorrow night. Uh, Jillian Rodrigue, uh, the emergency or the deputy emergency manager for uh, Douglas County, Kansas. Remember that big tornado that moved near Lawrence and up towards Saint or, or toward Kansas City um, last spring. Uh, she's the emergency manager for that area, and she'll be talking about. Her career as a meteorologist and how she ended up in emergency management. It'll be a great show. So join us for Weather Brains. But until next week, when I get a chance to sit in this same seat and talk to you again, have a great week. And as I always tell you, keep an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.